So I've been working with flower essences for a few years now and while I was in the States before my trip here, I had this idea to create flower essences of my own while in the Philippines using the flowers that I found here in the Philippines. And this was super exciting for me because I had never made flower essences before. So this has all been a really new experience for me. But being here and being able to connect with the nature here and tune into the flowers and plants and just the entire environment has been super, super, super meaningful. And I feel like there's a lot of intention behind me being able to do this. And I'm just, I feel like sometimes I'm bursting at the seams of joy and excitement for what I get to collaborate with in nature here and what I get to make with nature here. So it's been around six years since I've been back to the Philippines and it was around four years ago when I had my spiritual awakening. And so I knew coming here that this trip would feel different. I feel like I'm looking at this place with a brand new set of eyes. I've really, really tried to be a lot more intentional with the way that I connect to this place as well. So I'm introducing myself to the land. <laughs> I'm saying hello to the plants and to the water and to the wind and all these different elements and energies. I just keep introducing myself. I feel like every second I'm like, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mika. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and it feels kind of like overwhelming, but I just am taking so many things into my heart and it feels so good. Something that this Bougainvillea flower has been teaching me is to slow down and to minimize distractions. For one, there are a lot of thorns and spikes on this Bougainvillea plant, and so it's reminding me to be patient and intentional in the way that I move as to not get pricked. In addition to that, with these flowers, I feel like what you notice on the outside of them is this intense color. But what's really interesting is that there's also this pure white flower on the inside. And so sometimes the most important things are right at the center. To share some fruits with you. So this is called mangosteen and the way that you open it is you rip this top bit off and then you squeeze the sides and then as you do so it opens up and you have this fruit at the center. And so the way that I would describe this flavor is like a tart, almost like a yogurt and it's fluffy. The texture is really fluffy. And then this fruit here these are called lanzonas, and the way that I would describe lanzonas is almost like a grape without the skin. So you don't get that bite that you usually would, like that crunch from a grape, but you get this really soft, juicy inside. <laughs> How would I describe this flavor? Kind of similar to like a lychee. It's almost like a perfumey taste too but a natural perfume. <laughs> Bye. 
It's so interesting being here and experiencing how beautiful this place is. I'm noticing in myself these desires starting to stir up about me wanting to have a lifestyle that includes this in it. Having nature, having peace, having quiet. And as I've been noticing these desires, I've also been noticing these feelings inside of myself that I don't fully feel like it's possible for me to have this. It's like hard for me to even visualize possibly having this for myself one day, which is interesting because I'm here living it right now. And so making note of that, I'm just becoming a little bit more aware of how much permission I'm giving myself to be available to receive the things that I do desire. It's already in my field. And so something that I'm reminding myself of is to stay present and to truly allow myself to take all of this in with a lot of gratitude, to recognize that it's already here. And by doing so, I make myself available for more of this to come in. And doing that also reminds me that I get to just enjoy this moment and be in this moment with no expectations as well. I just get to enjoy myself.